we ended the last one with this box, so let's open it. <laughs> I actually took the, the liberty of opening that one, and then when it turned into a toilet, I thought, I should wait before I open this box. So there you go. Take the last swing together. Um, I'm just going to scrap that right now and take the metal, and I will turn, turn that into feathers later. Feathers? You know what I mean. Turn it into arrows later. On the back end. It'll, it'll all work out. So we are still in Higashi. This is, um, my goshi, it's taken a while to get through here. Oh, look at that. See, this is, now I know where I'm at. I'm in the chemical depot. Got it. Oh, man, I am not looking forward to how long it's going to take to run back to get out of here. I, I hope there's a fast way out that I just haven't seen yet. That would be really great if that's the case, because so far... This is a lot of running around. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. It's raining men! It's raining a lot of them, actually. Alright, here, let's get rid of you first. Okay, and then you. I missed you. That's not good. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to switch to my, my club. Because that guy's crazy. That guy's crazy. They're all crazy. I mean, heck, they're they're raining, so you know they're a little crazy. There you go. Have have a seat, utility worker guy. Holy crap! I need that. Oh, uh, um, two eleven, three seventy one, five thirty eight. Crap! Crap! Crappity crap! Ah, oh, I want that, but I don't know what I want to get rid of for it. I guess I could turn you just into metal. Um. Here, we'll take that, and we'll do it that way. It's fine. Man, that's that's not a bad find right now. A bunch of forged steel. Obviously, I can't really do a whole lot with that right now. Uh, I mean, it's cool. I'll take some forged steel, because you know I am going to have use for that later on. It's just right now, I, I can't do a whole lot with that. Drop ceiling, huh? Brings a whole new meaning to the name. Drop ceiling, all right? Those are kind of like drop bears. Just boom, there they are. Now look at that. I cannot get into here, so I guess I got to do it this way. All right, that's cool. I can do that. Just open up a little pathway here. Here we go. Except you're also in the way. Get you out of the way. Looks like a little area where, um, huh. People would just hang out. Oh, all right. Knock the curtains down, and suddenly it's going to get a little warmer, I imagine. Someone hung out over here. Look at that. A little bed and everything. This would actually be a really kind of cool place to... Wow! Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Um, honestly, it doesn't do much for me right now. But... But... I will take it. I will take it. Can't drop my plant fibers. All right, we're going to do it. We're just going to scrap those guys. I'm going to leave that SMG stock. We don't need that. It's not going to do any good right now. Can't do anything with it, so what's the point? I was going to say, this would be a kind of cool place to set up a base, but, um, wow. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking that potato, too, because one potato, two potato, two potato, four potato, five potato, eight potato, whatever. It kind of doubles when you have potatoes. Oh, jeez. What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to scrap that. I'm going to keep that potato, though. I'm going to turn this into seeds. Assuming one still can. Or into a seed, rather. I've probably found a potato seed somewhere else and passed on it, but uh, potatoes are kind of the one thing in this game, food-wise, that is just amazing. One potato with some patience... And uh, you will have enough food for the rest of your playthrough. Of course, that does kind of assume that, you know, you live long enough and have enough other food in the interim. Minor details aside. Dang it. That's, um, that's some crappy timing right there. Because I'm pretty sure now I can do this. Yes, I realize I'm not even paying attention and stopping to make sure that I have enough, but... I already did the math before. I was pretty sure I was right. 
I'm right. What do you know? Go figure. So there you go. Quality Joe number two. Oh, look at that. We're going upstairs. We're still not going downstairs, which I find interesting. But we're going upstairs. I guess I'm ready to go upstairs. Oh, look at that. I've already read you. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and take another chair apart. Why not? I'm still... I'm still interested in collecting mechanical parts. I would like to be able to put a workbench together by the time we get back. I'm just going to scrap you. I know. I could... I could repair that guy. It's all right. I'm not going to worry about it. We're okay. We don't need to... to do that right now. We're fine. We're fine like this. DNA testing, you say? Man, this place. Ooh, washing machine. Drawer. Ooh, I like that drawer. That looks like the non-messed up version of the incinerator drawers in the various mortuaries and that sort of thing. I think I've hit th my max right now for, for alcohol. Man, this is quite the pull. And yes, I do realize I'm about to be inside at night with the zombies running. I don't know what you want me to do about it. I've committed to this path. So, if I die, I die. Alright? At least we know where to find my body. And I guess I'm not going to go that direction. Fine. Another bathroom. It's not raining zombies, is it? Just out of curiosity, because I didn't look up in that other restroom. Yep, there is a box up here. What do you know? I probably should have looked in the roof of that other one, in the drop ceiling, rather. Ooh, Shamway box. Oh, man. Corn and potatoes. Here, I'll drink that guy now. And, oh man, I would like to have that potato. Actually, here, I'm going to use that too. I can use some health. And then we'll drink another one of these. <laughs> Just going to go water and stuff crazy. I don't want to dump the steel. I don't want to... I guess I can scrap that wrench. I'm just I'm just thinking here. Oh, yep. Yeah. I shouldn't be able to stand on that. I'm good with that. Believe me, I'm good with that. I do want that crashing down. Unless there's some sort of support system there, I shouldn't be able to stand there. So, cool. No problem. Glad it did that. Holy crap, there's a green wrench. Um... All right, new wrench. New wrench it is. Although, I'm going to still use the yellow one for now, even though I probably shouldn't. I should probably just go with the green, because at this rate, the number of wrenches I've found, we're not going to have any problems finding more of them, I suspect. But whatever, it's all good. I'm just going to roll with it like this. Working stiffs box, that potentially means I need to leave. Good. Refrigerator top, that probably doesn't impact things in the slightest. Fancy toilet also does not impact things, most likely, unless there's a really fine pistol in there. All right, refrigerator top. Nope. Toilet. Nope. Other refrigerator top. Also nope. Working stiffs box. Ah, all right. Some metal and some wood. Perfect. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, man, do I... Do I... Man, I've hit my limit on everything. Look at that. I've literally hit my limit of everything. I gotta get out of here. Oh my gush. That guy can't even speak. It's coming out as gush. Wow. Alright, I'm taking the sledgehammer, okay? I'm taking the sledge because I might need it now. Apparently... I guess I gotta backtrack. I don't know, is there a faster way out of here? I, I mean, I feel like there's gotta be a fast way out. 
That doesn't look good. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that, okay? Um, yeah, no. Let's just, let's just pretend I didn't see those, and I'm going to get out of here. I'll come back another time, because... I'm actually full of stuff, and there are a lot of things in here I would like to take with me. Uh, we can go... Uh, what do I have for mechanical parts? What am I looking at here? 15. That'll be exactly enough mechanical parts to... Um, oh, crap. I gotta... I gotta backtrack this. Holy crap. Hold on. I, I wanted to check in the ceiling first. Not a thing in this one. Go figure. I gotta backtrack this, though. Wow, this is gonna be painful. Um, okay, so... I can do that, at least. That's good. We'll save a bit of a step. Oh my gosh, this area was not pleasant. And now the zombies are officially running. That's good news. For the zombies. Yeah, there's... There's got to be a better way to get around this building, and I'm sure that involves knocking the stairs down and doing it kind of the hard way in in that respect, but um, I just don't have the tools to do that right now. Okay, perfect. I'm going to regret taking the sledgehammer, by the way. Don't you doubt it. I hate the sledgehammer. But I was just kind of thinking, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go right now. It's so dark. I don't remember this layout and where I'm supposed to go for everything. I think this is right. Did I just double back? No, I think I'm good. I vaguely remember that. Okay. Just keep on trucking through here. Normally, I wouldn't like to, to show this sort of stuff, this backtracking thing, but um, honestly, this kind of works for me because this is kind of intense here. Um, dare I sit here for however long this is going to take and just open up a faster path? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm actually going to do this, so I'll see you on the other side. So there you go. I actually took out, uh, two levels worth. Here, I'll even show you right quick. So this is the one I was working on. Gone. And then I decided, you know what? I do want to be able to get out of here the fast way. So that one's now gone, which means... Um, what does that mean? That means I can get out of here the slightly faster way which probably still means lots of backtracking. Is that right? Is that, is that right? Am I, am I remembering this correctly? I think so. Because... Oh no, that's right. I, I want to go down this way because this one is open. And then this one down here is closed off, if I remember right. Yeah, and that one's gated off. So I can go out this way. And this is a pretty quick exit basically straight down. I put some frames over here so I can get to the stairs. Look at me running right past a zombie while holding a flashlight. I did end up taking an antibiotic while I was doing that. I used my sledgehammer to do a majority of the work in case you're wondering how I did things. Uh, that's pretty quickly. Uh, might have also used some beer because stamina. That's actually why I ended up, uh, you know, using the sledgehammer, too. Figure I got the stamina regen going, and the sledgehammer does pretty good damage against that sort of stuff. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I remember seeing a skill for improving the damage it does, but I wasn't really concerned about that. I'm okay with the damage it did. I can't even repair my sledgehammer, so it's not really a big deal. Look at that. 15 feathers right there. I will actually... Where did you go? Right there? Is that you? All right. Here, I'm actually going to do this. Come on. There you go. I'm going to put that right there. Just in case I see that, I might remember. Oh, yeah, there are a bunch of feathers right there in that bird's nest. 
kind of at the point now where I am really ready to move up to those iron arrowheads. But again, uh, kind of need some feathers, so I might have to take a little sidebar here and just do a little feather hunting trip. I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to play out just yet, but look at that. Stealth is so broken. So, so broken. Uh, you still need a little more time to work on everything you've been working on, so here we go. I'll just go ahead and give you a few minutes to play with that. Have a good time there. Came back with a couple of food items. Oh, I already have a ton of ears of corn. Dang it, I thought I might have had some, but I couldn't remember. Oh well. Uh, did I not grab a bunch of fertilizer already? Okay, I guess I didn't. I, for some reason I had it in my head that at some point I had a bunch of fertilizer, but I guess not. I guess not. Whatever. It's all good. Anvil, I would like to throw in the Wichimahuzit, but we'll be fine with it for right now. Shotgun piece right there, and apparently I need a new secure storage box so I can actually start sorting this stuff. Because I just have so much crap crammed into this one, uh, which I guess means here I here I will actually be. There you go. Guess that means I'm committed to this area. Here we'll start with gun stuff in there. We'll we'll pull this gun out and any rounds that are just lying around in here. I didn't really want to do that, but. Fine, I'll go ahead and sort it. I picked up something. Uh, Molotov cocktail. Yep, no, you count. And here, gas, you count too. Uh, oil, you count too. Guess that's about it. Here, I'll put any of the weapon stuffs. So we'll include that in there too. I'm going to put the antibiotic in there. You come with me. Repair kits. I think that's looking pretty good. Shotgun parts. Take that one back out that I just put in there. Okay, so let's load this up with all the gun stuff. Even even the stuff I'm carrying around and actually mean to carry. That's fine. I, I kind of want to get a feel for everything I have at this point. So, kind of the idea. There we go. Sort all that stuff out. So there's a fair amount of gun stuff in there. I can work with that. Now, let's see. I need to have some junk here to put together... I'm going to need a crappy wrench, so I'll take the crappiest wrench I have. And the crappiest... Although that one's in better condition. Um, I'll take that one. This, this one has worse durability. It's going to fall apart sooner. And then I'm going to need a football helmet. And a flashlight. I, I should have a spare flashlight. There we go. I thought I had more again. Guess not. Guess I just have the one. And then what else do I need? Um, well, here, let's start with the workbench first. First things first, right? So I need some forged iron and mechanical parts. Now I'm pretty sure I have all of that in there. Boom, done. So, nope, wrong one. Try that again. Four minutes and 34 seconds to build a workbench. You're still cooking, are you? All right, I do want to throw this anvil in here. So we're just going to go ahead and melt an anvil down. It'll take a little while or not. Or it'll just happen right away. All right. Good. Good. I guess. You know, let's make some iron arrowheads. Let's uh, pop out 50 of these guys. I don't have 50, arrow 50 feathers lying around right now. Didn't mean to punch that, but whatever. It'll be fine. Oh, look at that. I have a bunch of repair kits in there. Didn't realize I had them. As a matter of fact, let's take that stuff out of there. That... that that's ammo, too. So here, why don't we drop... Let me drop that in for right now. And then I can add that stuff back again in a moment. It'll be okay. Drop this stuff in there, because that's really about ammo. That's why I have that there. And then that. And then how are we doing with the rest of this stuff? I know I'm going to need some plastics and some... I don't know. I can't remember what else I need for that mining helmet. I hope I don't need more mechanical parts. That would be bad. Nope, I need electrical parts. Okay, I don't think I have a bunch of electrical parts. I only have three, so... There you go. This should be good for one or two, I would think. There's one, two, perfect, three, four, nope. Well, I got three out of that guy. That one didn't work, so, you know, whatever. Take him apart if it doesn't work, I don't care. I'll leave the one that works. I'm ignoring the zombie outside, by the way. If you ignore them, they'll go away, generally. As long as it's not a screamer. 
calling a horde and all that jazz, then uh, obviously you might have other problems. Man, I am... Speaking of problems, I have no stamina and I'm also running low on food. I think I need to go hunting as soon as I have some daylight hours and can actually see something. Food is definitely more scarce in this version of the game. I mean, I do have some corn I can cook up too. So it's not like I'm out of food and I'm pretty sure I have another can somewhere. There we go. I have one more can of food, so I'm not I'm not about to starve. Could boil up some eggs or something. Um Yes, smash it with the wrench. Smash it, break it. Look at that. That will be enough electrical parts once I add those. Perfect. So I don't need those components. I can drop them in there. I definitely have enough plastic. Uh, gas barrels. Holy cow, I have a lot of gas barrels here. Let's move all those over there. I think I realized too, I was carrying one gas barrel from Higashi. and like, eh, I could have dropped that. Who cares about one? It's not a big deal, but, you know, whatever. It's all good. The fertilizer, I really do want to start up... Um... I hate when it does this. There it goes. Maybe? The clay isn't going down, though. You notice that? The clay is broken. The iron's working, but the clay is not. And now the clay is working. And the iron's not. Uh, I don't know why it does that sometimes. It just, it breaks. It's done that for as long as I can remember, it sure seems. Probably hasn't, but it sure seems like it. Am I done with that workbench yet? Where am I? Another 43 seconds, so... Uh, I guess we can maybe dismantle some of this stuff. Speaking of electrical components and parts and all that jazz, not to mention a little bit of metal. Kind of want to put the workbench uh, right over here, maybe leaving a room on the corner for one space for, I don't know, a cement mixer or something like that. Not really sure. How are you doing? All right, everything's working again. My bad. Maybe I was just being impatient and not looking at the right time and it was actually coming down just fine. Whatever. Whatever. Let's drink that tea right now. Okay, workbench should be done momentarily here. Oh, it is done. Take it back. Um, where is it? There it is. All right, this this is good stuff here. Boom, workbench. Now we're talking because now I can do stuff like uh, theoretically. Theoretically, this should work, right? I'm not going to actually combine them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I just wanted to make sure that that didn't change, because... Who knows, you know? Sometimes things change. And if only there were a way to, I don't know, find out what those changes are. Ah, okay. Your crafting skill only allows you to improve this item to 250. See? There you go. Told you, sometimes things change. So then, that begs the question, what can I do with this? Here's this axe, and here's that axe. So theoretically, I could improve that up to 250, which means that if I were to make a bunch of wooden bows, I could presumably turn them into something else. All right, so I need to make a mining helmet here. Mining helmet. What am I missing? Duct tape. It so happens that I have a crap ton of duct tape. Somewhere. Where are you, duct tape? There you are. So we'll use this guy to get the mining helmet up and running. Ah, uh, that is going to be... It's going to be a crappy mining helmet, and as long as I don't let it get destroyed, we should be good. So, theoretically then, what I can do with these guys is I can use these to upgrade my bow. Yeah, I'm totally going to cheat a little on that one. But that's fine, because limits have been put into place to account for this sort of cheatery. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that! Got a crappy mining helmet. Put that thing on. Oh my goodness. 
That is, uh... That is good stuff right there. Perfect. 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 Might have made too many bows. And if so, it's fine. Okay, I think we've hit the max. There we go. Yep, perfect. All right, good. Look at that. Got way too many bows. It's okay. I'll just throw them around somewhere and keep them around for... I don't know, an emergency situation somewhere where I need a crap ton of bows. I don't know, I got nothing. What do you, what do you want from me? I got nothing. Well, if that's the case, though then I wouldn't mind actually doing this. Uh, take this guy here and maybe just repair these two. 209, that's fine. I'll work with that. I know that might not be the best use of materials, and, and I totally get that. I just kind of want something that'll that'll work and, you know... I don't know, it just... That, that sounded like a good idea. I just... I want to be able to carry around a kind of crappy wrench that I don't need to worry too much about it. And if it's, you know getting a little banged up. It's okay, but I just wanted to get something that's a little nicer to use and that'll last a while and I don't have to just be thinking about it because I do kind of worry about that a little bit. Like, oh man, this thing's going to fall apart and I got to take care of stuff and yada, yada, yada and all that. All that jazz, you know what I mean? Look at that. It's 4 a.m. I'm going to drop off this guy here. I, I don't want to carry that around. Which means I guess I should make myself a new club. Did I not add that to the list? Maybe you're over here? Here we go. Actually, you know what I should do, too? I just recalled that I found that guy right there. Eight forged iron. I don't have any. So I need you to make me some... Forged iron, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Here, we, we, we want to do this today, all right? And we'll put that, get that going there. Yeah, I feel warm by the fire. I'm going to go take a look outside right quick. Just looking for some animals. We're just going to go run around the block. There's a zombie. You don't really count. Hmm, that was not a good shot. Whatever. It's fine. Another zombie over there. I saw movement. I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? Uh, I think it's a zombie. Yeah, it's a zombie. Another zombie down that way. Alright, well... I might just have to eat some corn here that I got from the farm. <laughs> it's funny, now that I see the farm, I remember picking up all the corn. Funny how that works, isn't it? It's not going to be worth a lot of nutrition, but I do have that, that other food too. But I really do think I'm just going to have to go kind of call an audible and do nothing but go hunting and foraging for food. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I do want a hunting knife, though. So we'll let that kind of craft up. That'll give me a better tool to use for uh, skinning animals, that sort of thing. Just trying to, again, look around, see if there's anything running around out there. Probably would be helpful to run out that way, just because there'd be fewer buildings in the way. It'd be a lot easier to spot something. So we might need to go do a little hunting. That certainly seems like that's going to be in the works here in the uh, near future. Be nice to stock up on a bunch of meat. Be nice to get a farm going. Do have a little room here. I could just drop some dirt down and put some fertilizer and we could get a little itty bitty farm going on. That might not be a bad idea. Wouldn't mind trying to make some tools now, even though they're not going to be great. They might still be an improvement over using, well, this. Look at that elevero seed right there. I haven't even checked this stuff yet. Why is that? I always check the trash. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't been digging through the trash enough, I guess. But that's where we're going to leave it. So play with the new knife on the next one. And who knows, maybe that'll even take over as the main weapon. Just make a couple of them because everyone knows you run faster with the knife. So I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.